اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم when i ask david for example could we say that god gets a wife and has sex and has children and things like that you said that would be against the nature of god right i meant like god just yeah so like we're just talking about god like, yeah i'll okay. give you an example right and i think it'll clarify this right do you believe god would have sexual intercourse with a woman I believe God has the power to do that if he wanted to but he, he wouldn't he wouldn't want to because of his moral his moral nature thank you okay. I agree with Anthony's answer that if God had decided after the incarnation to do that then he'd so, be able, he'd so, be so able now to we're sort of now we're saying God could get married and have sex and have children I would say if God wanted to do that and that was part of his so, plan so, or something so let me like ask that, you let me ask you a simple question right because Let's say a guy comes up to you right now in Balboa Park, right? There's a lot of all kinds of religions here, right? And he comes and tells you, hey, God's married to my mom and has sex with her every night, right? For example, right? Would you believe that? You want the answer? Yeah, go ahead. My answer would be this. And I think this is something that we should have been discussing already. Excellent. We believe that we don't know anything about God okay. apart from God's own voluntary revelation of Himself. Excellent. So we are all beholden to Him. Right? Okay. We are dependent on Him for life and breath as well as anything we know about Him. Right? And anything we know about Him that's true is what He's told us. Anything we think we know independently of that is not okay. something we can know to be true. Now, so what I'm getting at is in the Bible, God revealed Himself through the prophets and prepared the world for just what happened in the Incarnation. Okay. When it says in Galatians 4, for example, that in the fullness of time God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, made under the law, so that He might redeem those who were under the law, right? This is the point of the Incarnation. When He says that, this happened in the fullness of time, He's saying that this is the outworking, the culmination, the fulfillment of what had been revealed through the prophets in long ages past. Okay. Among those passages that teach that, you have, for example, and I know you've heard some of these, Isaiah 9, 6, that he would be the mighty God. <laughs> Jeremiah 23, 6 said that the, the child that would be born would be Jehovah, our righteousness. Malachi 5, 2 says that he would be the one whose origins are eternal, right? He has no beginning, no end. He, he's from of old. So those are the sorts of things that, for me, are necessary in order to adopt the, this belief so that when he fulfills these things, I say, okay, that's the one who was announced. This guy popping up out of the middle of nowhere is not showing up in the fullness of time. Okay. He's not fulfilling prior prophecy. Okay. He's not doing the sorts of things that the Old Testament shows God could do. God appeared to Abraham in Genesis 18. God appeared to Moses in Exodus 3, to numerous prophets. In the Christian view, those things were not only not uh, impossible for God, he revealed that these were possibilities and that they would be a future actuality when Jesus became okay. flesh. So, Anthony, with all due respect, that was just preacher mode. Right? No, let me, let me, no. Let, let, the question again is about the, that possibility. So if somebody comes and tells you that, right? Other than saying that it's not in the Bible, right? Which obviously it's not because this is post-Bible. Would you say conceptually, that makes sense that God comes, got married to his mom and hits it every night. In, in principle, I've already answered you saying that the incarnation happened. Okay. God became flesh in the womb of Mary and was born of her. So you're and saying fulfilled the prophetic scriptures. Okay. You're asking me if some guy popped up out of the blue. Yes. I think it would be a natural reaction to that sort of thing if you don't have word from God okay. century after century preparing the world for this very event. Gotcha. So when it happens, and then that man, on top of everything else, lives a perfect life. So again, you're, you're avoiding the question. On top, that's not, I'm not avoiding are, the question. Bro. This is the logic of Christianity. This is how that, That's the problem. Well, you think <laughs> so it's a problem, me, but you've yet to demonstrate it. You've begged I'm, the question, I'm, but you haven't answered it. Look, it's a very simple question, bro. And you're, you're going all around. It, right the thing is you know and I know that and, and David knows as well Jedi mind trick now? no, no yeah, yeah, you don't okay. see me no, here no, right? yeah. right? so, you know come you know on. and I, you know let's be honest hearts. right let's be honest let's be honest yeah, right see, if some dude trick. walks up right now and tells you that you're gonna be like you don't know what you're talking about right you're gonna tell him God doesn't come and have get married to your mom you're just making this stuff up right this is something that is not in scripture you, you would go into your whole thing but you would not believe that because you know that's not the nature of God to be getting a wife here and a wife there and having kids here and half there God is above all of that you, right you're just so, imputing beliefs to me though you're just well, imputing can, can, I, can I add a, a possible example okay. it's because I think well let, let me give you an example if if someone came up to me and said mm -hmm. 
that they have a time machine in their pocket. Okay. I would not believe it for a second. Okay. It's not because I don't believe it's possible. It's just I believe that's extraordinarily unlikely, and you would have to provide me with some very good evidence. Excellent. Okay. For that, right? Good. If someone came up to me and they said they have a square circle in their pocket, mm -hmm. I would regard that as impossible. Thank you. So, so We're with it. Yeah. So what? what, I, what <laughs> when what you I, get with it, then so I'll give you. Those are two things. One is right. it's extraordinarily improbable, get, right. improbable given everything else I believe. Right. That's one thing. And then there's things that I would just regard as possible. If you say, hey, there's a married bachelor over there. So well, I don't know what you're talking hey. about. I don't know what you're exactly. Talking about. If you say, you know. It, oh, okay. But uh, so anyway. So that's a good, uh, good, excellent if example. Someone, if someone were to come up and say, you know, something about someone being incarnate or something like that. Now, we're Christians, so we, we, we believe in that revelation. We, we believe in the revelation we have. Right. So we don't believe that sort of thing is going to happen. So we would we would dismiss it on that. As far as, okay, just, so, as, far as if So we, you would dismiss it on basically your belief. Yeah. That, okay, no, we're, we're, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me, let me respond to him. Yeah, come yeah, on, bro. Can I respond to him now, man? Yeah. Okay. Well, I wasn't finished. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, David. Yeah, so, yeah, don't interrupt well, yeah, so, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm saying is, in other words, since we're Christians, we believe that God has sent his revelation and there's no more incarnations or anything coming along, right? So we would say, oh, we're Christians, we believe that. But um, if if someone if we if we weren't christians and we were just saying hey if if god has god has the power to do what he wants if god wanted to enter creation and do this our point is we wouldn't say i reject that because it's an impossibility or a contradiction we would say that sounds really far-fetched so you're going to have to give me some really good evidence we wouldn't regard it as a contradiction you know what anthony the anthony's point what he was saying about all these this background knowledge and prophecies and so on is he's saying we do have good evidence, and so that's why we would okay. dismiss it. Because if, yeah, if, gotcha. if someone just came along and said, "Hi, I'm Jesus. I'm the divine Son of God," or we get that creation, all the time. Here, we would yeah. say, "No. What are you talking right, about, right, man?" Excellent. If, if Can I speak now, bro? <laughs> are you done? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kim. So that is exactly the point. To me, as a Muslim, and this is what we're discussing here. To me, to say God is a part of the creation in the sense that He is human, that He goes to the bathroom, that He has to go to the, that He has those human flaws that Jesus would have had as a as a human being, not moral flaws, right? But we're talking about just physical flaws that we have as humans. To me, is just like you saying a square circle. To me, I see no difference like in that. It, it's it's apples and oranges, right? Humans, right? Humans have these weak. Weaknesses, right? Even if you take Adam before the fall, right? Obviously, he had some inclination to make a mistake, and that's why he took the he took he ate from the tree that he shouldn't have, right? So that means by nature, even before the fall, he had that weakness to make that mistake. But Allah doesn't. The Creator does not. The Creator does not cry out and say, "My God, My God." That see, this is a human attribute where you are calling out to your creator right now if the creator is god himself he doesn't call out to himself he doesn't say my god like you never see the father in the bible saying my god right david so well, okay, yeah. let, let him i asked david uh, bro anthony take it is your name david uh, I, I said right david <laughs> So oh, what but, we were talking, he was just. Oh, he made a point. So yeah. I responded to his no, point, made, but you're he gonna. Made a good point. I agree with. Oh, you, so all right. I'll take that as a response to me. Well, I was gonna jump in with that. Oh, okay. Example. Okay. Go ahead. Oh yeah. So uh, I, something that would. I don't know your beliefs about the Quran. My, and I, I'm not changing something. Did you get my question though? Yeah, I've gotten. I've gotten okay. for like the last. For like the last. No, no. Time. I just asked you like a question right now. Yeah, we, it would make sense for the for the father to cry out, my, my God, right? Why? Sense, no. Apart from becoming in part. Yeah, apart from becoming. No, no, no apart, I'm saying for the father. Yeah. Right. Do, do you ever see the father saying, "My God"? He, he refers to the son. Can I speak? <laughs> can what? man, David, you, you got like a recording to us or something? Like you pull what? strings? Why are you I'm so asked, afraid to hear I'm not. I, I, I will talk to you. It's not like I'm no, gonna no. Let you talk I'm, I'm going to let him talk first, and then I'll talk to you. Don't. I've been talking to you this whole time. So the question, David, is: Do you ever find the father saying, "My God"? He's, he calls Jesus God. My God? No, he. If you're talking about Jesus crying out, My God, you say no. The Father doesn't do that, right? We, okay, right, okay. We, we don't believe. Gotcha. That. So, so the Father, then this is the nature of the Creator. He doesn't call out. He is the one you call out to. That's the nature of God. And the nature of humans is we have weaknesses, so we call out to our Creator, right? This is this is the exact point you're missing. 
right? Humans have those shortcomings, those needs, those necessities that the Creator doesn't. So the Creator doesn't call out and say, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But a human would. Yeah, and, and so this, this, yeah, wait, wait, I, he I, I, was yeah, human. Yeah, and so, <laughs> but he was God. You're I just, I just wanted to became flesh. But he was wanted, completely God. You don't then. realize you're begging the question. No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making a very I clear to distinction. So, Go ahead. So I don't know exactly what you believe about the the, the Quran and the speech. I believe of, in the, the Quran, and Allah, the so Kalam of Allah. Yeah. Uh, so, but lots of Muslims tell me that Allah's speech is eternal, co-eternal with Allah. Sure. Um, and this isn't. I'm not changing the subject here. This is an example. This is an example of what we're talking. I'm about. So, if the Quran is Allah's eternal speech, mm -hmm. then if you were to say, hey, does it make sense for, does the Quran have a beginning or something like that? I would say, no, it's, if it's eternal, then it, then it has no beginning. You're right. Uh, if you said, can it be corrupted? I would say, Cannot. no, it's, 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 it's divine. It, it, it can't be corrupted, right? So if you were to ask these kinds of questions, I would say, as far as the eternal speech of Allah or an, an attribute of God, I would say, those kinds of things do, it doesn't make sense there to go, David. raise those kinds of questions, right? But if you were to say, if you were to say to me that, that we have a physical Quran, right? Excellent. This is this is this is a, a this doesn't have the Arabic in it, but assuming this had the Arabic in it, that we have a physical copy of the Quran. Excellent. Then it seems like the, the, the physical copy of the Quran would kind of have two natures. It, it's it's the eternal speech of Allah, and yet it's it's entered our world because we have a physical world. It's entered our world Excellent. as a physical book made of paper and glue and ink. And therefore, if you were to ask me, does it make sense to talk about this as having a beginning or about this being corrupted and changed and so on, then I would say, yes, it's a physical book. Of course, it can fall apart. It eventually will. You mentioned earlier that people can eat it or yep. burn it or yep. all kinds of things. And so it makes sense to talk about a physical... A physical Weird people, yeah. It, it makes sense to talk about a physical Quran. Um, it, so in other words, I would say that a book that has two natures, that it's the eternal speech of Allah entered into creation in a physical form so that we can have it, it, may, it now makes sense to talk about this having a beginning, and I'm assuming it has, it has a publication date, so it now makes sense to talk about this having a publication date, it now makes sense. It didn't make sense before when you're talking about the speech of Allah before it comes into creation. Once it enters into creation, now we can ask these questions, but if I were to take your objection seriously, I would have to say, no, it's, it's absurd to talk about these these eternal things that can't be corrupted, being corrupted, being co being corruptible, having a beginning, having an end, falling apart. That makes no sense of the eternal speech of excellent, Allah. Excellent, you, excellent, you playing excellent. Oh no, you guys don't no, do music. Was, you don't do music. No, I'll no, I'll let you I'll let you play the music for us. All right. I don't, I don't know how to play. Music. Right, come on, learn. All right. So now, excellent, excellent answer. I appreciate that. All right. So let's go to that now. Right. The Quran is kalam Allah. Right? The Quran will never call out to Allah. Okay? Now, in the Quran, you will never say, the, 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 oh, take it easy, take it easy, though? take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, Anthony. Is it true? Hold it, hold it together, you, Crook. Hold it together. It? I will. It? I will. I will. Okay? The Quran itself is Kalam Allah. Right? The Quran responds, for example, the Prophet وسلم, right? But the Quran does not speak to Allah. It's the speech of Allah. Allah teaches us, for example, ad'iyah, which are called dua, supplications, for us to use to call to Allah, right? But let me finish, bro. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah I got you. Okay, so now, when you say this has a publication date, none of us standing here as Muslims will say this is a part of the creation, creator. Right? This here is a published book. That's why the Quran is recited and the Quran is revealed. It was never sent just like a book, right? Because then that book, it once it hits the earth, then that would be part of the worldly things. That's why Imam al Bukhari has a book called Khalaq al Af'al al Ibad, where he talks about the recitation or the paper or the ink is not what is Quran. Quran is what is revealed. And before the Day of Judgment, it will be taken up. And that revelation can never be corrupted. That revelation is always preserved. And that revelation doesn't weaken. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, when you talk about Jesus now, on the other hand, 
when you say that he came and he became human, but then at the same breath you say that he's always one. God is not divisible. So you're saying then that is God himself, even though he's human. And even though he is God, the father and him are the same thing. But he's saying, oh my God, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? That makes absolutely no sense. Okay, great. So you've said the fact that Christ, the second person of the Trinity, the Son of God, by virtue of becoming human and crying out to the Father, that there's a problem with that, a logical problem, and that's not something that Islam has to deal with. Now, number one, I don't think that's a logical problem, but I, number two, I also don't think that's true Islamically. So I'd like you to tell me sure. where I may have that wrong. I don't think I do. You never but, know. But I, I grant that you're the imam, right? <laughs> so, uh, my understanding, which I have from other Muslims, which is part and parcel of why I hold that, and have read in the Islamic sources, that the Quran itself does intercede for Muslims, or will, on the Day of Judgment, right? The Quran will appear as a pale man and will say that it was the Muslim's companion in life and will intercede for him. Is that not correct? Can you give me a reference for that? That's in the hadith. Which hadith? Uh, seriously, you don't think I'm going to go back? I mean, like, I uh, don't know. Are you numbers. saying that's not in the hadith? That, uh, that is not in any authentic hadith that okay. I've ever read. So you'd say it's can not I, authentic. Can I, can I finish? No, that's okay. fine. If you okay. say it's not authentic. Hold on, take it easy, Anthony. So, to say the Quran will appear as a pale man, and what did you say it would be with the... The, the Quran will uh -huh. intercede for Muslims and will say that... It as a pale man. Uh, well, that's that's in a Tirmidhi hadith, for example. Hmm. Let's just uh, look hold. For it. Let's look for it. Okay. Uh, so no, no, hold on. Let, let, because see, I like to discuss on evidences. No, so if true. can I find a hadith in a Tirmidhi that says the Quran will be a pale man? Let's just find that, and then okay. I will explain from there. Okay. So, but that kind of misses the point of, that I'm making. You're focused on the pale man part, but Excellent. I think you and I both know that it's classically Islamic to say the Quran will intercede for you. So let me explain the shifa of the Quran? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Explain Excellent. That. The Quran is Kalamullah. Okay. You, said, huh? you told us that part. I know, but that's part okay. of the explanation. Okay. Take okay. it easy, Anthony. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Quran that is read by us, right? I mean we read the Quran. That Kalamullah will be a evidence for us. Do you understand what that means? That the fact that we stayed up at night and read the Quran will make shifa, it will be an intercession. It will not be asking Allah for help or asking Allah separately than anything. It is only the fact that that good deed will be an intercession for you. Like if you had read the actual hadith, it talks about the Quran and another hadith about the siyam, the fasting, right? We don't say fasting by itself is an entity, but it's the deed that is a interest that intercedes for you so you, does the hadith you, say that the deed yes. of reciting the quran will intercede for you or does the hadith say the so, quran will intercede again for you? so th so this is the thing when you say al quran was siyam they, they, these two will be shifa they will be intercession right so what does that mean that it is that deed of reading the quran do you understand what that means now? Well, I understand what you're claiming. Okay. That's just not what So let's see the... Let's uh, see. I, I searched for it. The first one that popped up, I know it's in Termity, but the first... I know it's in Termity, but the first... I know it's in Termity, but the first... I know it's in Termity, but the first one that popped up Excellent. was in Ibn Majid. So in Termity, there is no such hadith that says the Quran there, will there be a pale man. That's just the first one that popped up. Okay, so can we look at the Termity one first? Okay, I'll find the I just want to... I just want to see... Notice, uh, the Ibn Majah version says the Quran will come on the day of resurrection like yes. a pale man. And okay. will say, I am the one that kept you awake at night and made you thirsty during excellent, the day. Excellent, excellent. So let's now go to... Hold on, take it easy, guy. I'm just trying to see. Are you trying to see that? No, no, take it easy. This is why... Are you, you're not seriously going to go to Google Translate, are you? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know you know you're Arabic. Funny. You're funny. You, know Arabic, you don't right? have an Arabic keyboard? Uh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, I was just going to show you the takhrij. You know what takhrij is? Okay. The checking of the narration. Okay. This narration of Ibn Majah is a very weak narration. Uh, they didn't grade it as weak. Can you show me their grading? Yeah, it's in Hassan. Let me see. Go, just hit back. It's in Arabic now. You just, you just ruined back. his phone. You can't see anything. Oh, English he'll now. see it. <laughs> Where did it say Hassan? No, no, this is, this is Darussalam's grading, right? So this is not, not sunnah.com, just a website. 
Okay? So, Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam is a but, publishing yeah. house, right? But that's not the grading yeah, of. They give the rating for the Hadith scholars, right? They're not just making it up. No, no, no. So, so we need to. I know this Hadith, and that's why I was telling you, right? And I can show you the weakness in it if you like. Dar es Salaam is a publishing house, not a scholar itself, right? Their grading by itself is not a hujja, it's not an evidence. You have to look at the evidence from the scholars of Hadith. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why I asked you, right? Now, if you like, and if you, how long are you in San so Diego? Just, just, let, me, just, let me just finish. How long are you in San Diego? We're leaving tonight. Oh, no. I was going to invite you to my house. I have a Ibn Majah. I appreciate right? the fact Look, that you, you would have invited You got dinner, you got tea, I got you, <laughs> all right? And I would sit with you and explain to you from the Sharh of Ibn Majah why this hadith is daif actually. Because I teach aqidah and I taught the subject, okay? Uh -huh. In the authentic narration, and again, this is not in a Tirmidhi, by the way, anyway. Let me see the Tirmidhi uh, Rawaya you had, uh, right? You said you had a Tirmidhi Rawaya? So I could so I, so okay. I have to search for it. I'll wait for it. In the authentic narration, it does not mention the pale man. That's why I was trying to explain to you. Rather, the Quran and, and its Shifa is from the one who stayed up at night. So the Shifa is the Quran asking intercession from the deed of you staying up nights. Do you understand the understanding there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at Jesus calling out on the on the cross according to the Bible that you believe in, right? Saying, oh my God, oh my God, why have you forsaken me? That is not about a deed that you did. That is one entity calling out to another entity for help and asking, why have you forsaken me? Is that correct or wrong? So, so that you know, I'm not, I'm not I'm saying I have any problem with that. I absolutely okay. affirm that. So you, the you second affirm. The person of the Trinity took on a human nature. So he was no longer virtue, God. No, he was both God and man. And by virtue of the incarnation, was able to call out to the Father as God. Okay, so, so I, I want to understand I, that. I wasn't trying to like, okay. give an apology. Okay, so I want to understand. Okay, that. okay, so let me understand what you affirm. Okay. You're saying Jesus came to earth and became a man. Absolutely. So was he that all-powerful, all-being, has no needs God at that time or not? He was both God and man. Again, that's like a okay. square circle, you right? You say that's like because, a square circle. Because God is, has no needs, right? As his divine nature, so think okay. of it this way. I mean, it's not that hard, really. It, it is hard, because it's confusing. But it's like a square circle. You're asserting that it is. But to me, it is. There, there hasn't been a demonstration of that. What I'm getting at is as God, so if he, so as an example, you think man has a soul, man has yes. a body. Yes. Right? Your soul and your body are not the same thing. They're both you. True. We don't want to get into a whole tangent here. I'm with you. But Keep there are going. things that are true of you bodily that aren't true of you as in terms of your soul or spirit. Okay. Right? If your body dies, does your soul die? No. No. As Christians, we believe Christ is both God and man, just like man is body and soul. Okay. Right? Man has those two constituent let me, elements. Let me but speak. So all I'm saying is, although the attributes of Christ as God are such as he is omniscient, omnipotent, omnibenevolent, all of these things, his human attributes and qualities are most definitely character, uh, you know, he has, he's in one place at one time, he gets hungry, he slept, he wept, he died. Did he go to the bathroom? He absolutely did. God went to the bathroom. Yeah. God became flesh. And went to the bathroom. Dwelt among us. And secured Did he get diarrhea? Secured cell. He died on the cross. What more do you want that's, than that? That's pretty... <laughs> what more do you want than that? Huh? You are Muslim, aren't you? Right? This is a seeker, right? Right? You're, you're he looking, got tortured. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. God, God got tortured. Out, God. Oh. Out, his Ooh. back was whipped. Gotcha. Huh? Yeah. And, and he cried out to who? He cried out to his father. But he didn't say father. He said God. But he said, my God. God. That's a, but, that's, but he is God. Yes. That doesn't make sense now. <laughs> Again, <laughs> sense, that doesn't make sense. We already talked right? about that no, earlier. So, so, uh, but, and we, it didn't make sense earlier, no, no, but no. let me... let me. Well, then it doesn't make sense to say Allah has sifat. Oh, of course are, it does. No. Allah's sifat are a part of Him. Christ Allah is part of the Father. But Allah's sifat don't it, separate. Allah's sifat don't need to go to the bathroom. The, the, uh, the Allah's sifat... <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, Go ahead. You believe that the Quran is the Again, instantiation. Again, I I, I, I I just told you earlier. No, I heard I just, what you No, said. no, no, no. You didn't. I did. I, no Muslim, no Muslim says that this right in your hand is a part of Allah. Well, first of all, that's not even an error. Exactly. So for so you to I, lift this so up doesn't make any well, sense, right? But you, let you me, knew what I let meant. Me, I this do. This represents that. And I will tell you, as I told David, when you didn't listen, I guess, but I'll say it again. You guys want to be... Huh? All right, no, there I'm you, all right. you, but I'm also finding what you want, because I can Excellent. get it really quickly. Okay, so now the issue gets to be the sifat of Allah are a part of Allah. Even if Allah reveals 
You understand the difference between revealing and becoming separate, right? The sifat of Allah never have weaknesses. You can burn the, the written copy because that's not the Quran. The Quran is what is recited. It cannot be corrupted. Somebody can make a mistake in their reading, but their reading is not the sifat of Allah. Now Jesus saying, my God Jesus, is human nature is not part of his divine essence. Okay, so that's so, so that's Christ, that's the, that's the confusing part here because you're saying that the the soul is a part of me. Without the soul, I can't exist. Right. Right. But you so are your soul. you are. You are thank your soul. you. So if you are your soul, soul, and then Jesus is his soul, and you're saying that's God. So for God to be now saying my God makes you know that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. You, but you've misunderstood me. Okay. Christ has both a human soul and a human body, and His divine nature. Man, oh. Man is so both Christ body and soul. is three things now. No, well, that's, this is classic Christianity. This is extra. Extra. If, if you're just learning this, I'm I mean, I, I'm just learning it from you because okay, you're such a good explainer. This, this is classic okay. Chalcedony. You've heard Chalcedon, right? I have. Chalcedon was a Christian creed, 451. I, I, the I, classic Chalcedonian statement is. Just just like man is body and soul, God and man is one Christ. Okay, so, let me so, just but, ask that. But let me just ask, okay, I want to understand that. Okay. Let me just understand. Okay, so Christ, according to you, he was human. Mm -hmm. He had a soul. Real body and soul. Human. And he was God. That's three things in Christ. So, so he has all the attributes of humanity, okay. body and soul, and okay. he has a divine nature. So that's what I just said, right? So human nature and divine nature. So he has a soul. Absolutely. When was his soul created? So again, the soul uh, of Christ Anthony. is it's human. Okay, right? so when was his human soul created? Christ became man when he became incarnate. In the so, the, so the soul, the it's a very simple question. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. okay. No, nobody else cut in. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. When was his soul created? The soul of Christ. I'm saying that the humanity of Christ, body and soul, yes. starts at the point of conception, the virgin birth. Okay. Can you give me any reference to the Bible about when the soul of Jesus was created as you just gave that answer? But about the soul. So, so the Bible teaches that man's soul is formed along with his body. It's formed within him. Okay, so man. Psalm 139, okay. among others, talks about the fact that God knits people together in their mother's womb. This okay. is, from the Christian perspective, the time when man's, man's, man himself comes into existence. So Jesus came into existence as a man. The human, it's human, okay. yeah, it's so, human so, nature. So Jesus' soul... So, Zechariah 12.10 also makes... For, uh, 12, 1, and those are not about Jesus, right? 12, those are those, general. Those are about human you beings. You asked about souls and bodies. I asked you about Jesus' soul right. particularly. So, just like you reasoned earlier, okay. from the general to the particular, I'm with all you. I'm saying is... So you're saying the general rules about humanity are why you're taking the fact in your mind because that Jesus' soul came in. So Jesus had no soul until he was in the womb of Mary. He had no human soul until he gotcha. Came in and when he came in the womb of Mary, his soul came into creation. So yeah, his body and soul originate at that gotcha. time. Gotcha. And his body. And, and his when body. he died, according to you on the cross, his, where did his soul go? His body died. His soul remained united to his divine nature. Okay. And he ascended into heaven. So before that time, there was no soul, but there was there was Jesus. Before and then time? before Jesus was born. Yeah. He had no soul. Right. So then God increased the soul of Jesus later. No, no. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what you just said. Not, that's not at all what I said. Okay, let, let me repeat it again. That's not you, at all let, let me say what I said and then you can correct me. Anthony, we got this. Okay. Just did, so you, you had a laugh track over here. It wasn't oh, even what I said. People were laughing. It's okay. Anyway, so it wasn't good. now, <laughs> when, you, when you said that Jesus had no soul before his human conception, mm -hmm. right? So there was Jesus, part of God. There was God himself and then the Holy Ghost, but I'm not going to go there, okay? Then Jesus came to the womb of Mary and a soul was created. It didn't exist before. Then you're saying no? You're saying no? Or? He's not saying anything. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were shaking your head. Okay, so then, then Jesus was born with a human soul and a human body and a godly nature, three components. Then he goes on a cross and he dies and his body dies. His soul now, that was newly created, now becomes a part of God. No, no. No? no that's not that's exactly, what you, well, okay, no, that's what, you exactly what you said. Well, okay, tell me what you said then. Tell me what you said then. Just like you said to me earlier, you know, not putting words in your mouth. I'm not. I now, you really, said from me, I didn't say anything like that. Uh, I'm, right? I got it, you guys got it on video, but yeah, go ahead. We got it on video. Good. Say, yeah. Tell me again. What I told you, you okay. said his soul increased, and I never said anything along those lines either. Mm -hmm. What I said is very clear, and this is just classic Christian theology. 
Mm -hmm. right? Chalcedon is just solidifying what was always taught by Christians. At Chalcedon, it says that Christ took on a true human nature. Human nature is a body-soul entity. Right? Man is an ensouled being, an embodied soul. Okay? So when Christ takes on a human nature, he takes into union with himself a full human nature, body and soul. When the body dies, the soul doesn't cease to exist. And so when Christ died physically, his soul didn't cease to exist. Neither did it separate the union that had already been established at the incarnation between Christ as a divine person and that human soul. They're still fundamentally united. The soul doesn't become a part of the Godhead, but it still remains a human soul. Okay. It never becomes a part of the, uh, of okay. the divine nature. So, so you have it on video, and so do we. Yeah. But I'm going to repeat this again. Okay. So, there was no soul before Jesus was in the womb of Mary, right? Right. Okay. So Jesus came in the womb. Mm -hmm. God created a, a new soul. Yeah. For Jesus. Yeah. We don't. Became think a part of yeah. Jesus. Maybe we have a different conception of what the soul is. Soul it's okay. Let, let's okay. just keep going. Soul, body, oh, right. soul connected. Body. Okay. He came out on earth. You're, you're with me, Anthony? Yes. Okay. He goes to the cross. Mm -hmm. He gets killed, according to you. Yep. Now his soul and body separate. His soul that was not a part of the God union before, was not a part of Jesus before, where does that soul go? It remains his soul. And where does he go? He goes back to the Father. So the Father now has an increased but, soul. You said it, no, 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 and you said it again, see, and now you're denying wait a minute, it. Wait a minute. All right, Anthony. Wait thank you. Minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> when, when you say you believe that uh, Allah raised Jesus to himself, you believe that eventually someday you guys are all going to go to, uh, well, um, somebody, somebody's going to Jannah, right? Somebody's going to heaven. Every Muslim, Allah makes us. Are you going to say us. they're added to Allah, like they're some part of his nature? We do not believe, I, I don't believe let, let, me, let, me, let me respond. We do not believe we in Jannah are a part of Allah. And neither do I. But you said, no, 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 no. no. But you, you said Jesus is a part God. of God. No, no, no. We're well, talking about oh, yeah. Jesus' is soul. I said, I said. You got, you no, got no. God, bro. It's I, over. It's you, over. Man. Thank you. You've been asserting it's and over, begging man. the question all Look, it's over. You, it's you, over. You've been, Thank you've been you. Asserting, David. Hold Thank on. you. Hold it's on. okay. It's okay. Yeah, 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 you can get Thank you. We'll bring Sam in here in just a second. But we need to be clear here. I never said that Christ's soul becomes part of the deity. That was your claim. <laughs> that was your claim. If you're laughing, I'm glad this is recorded. Right? Oh, I'm, I'm so glad because I'm going to show Okay, so where does that soul go? Where does the soul go? What does it have to do with where does the soul go? Jesus' soul, do think, where does it go? Do you think if somebody's soul goes to heaven, it becomes part of God? No. Well, neither do I. But you said Jesus' soul connected with him. It doesn't separate I, no, I, and goes back to being a part I, of God. But listen. Come on, you guys got to see this. Come on. I back to being part of God. You said that. <sighs> and then you had your laugh track, and then you turned right. your hand into the camera. Where does the but soul, where did Jesus' you, soul go? Okay, now let's be clear. Your assumption is, if his soul goes up to heaven, then somehow it becomes Where part does Jesus' soul go? Jesus' soul remains forever united to his divine nature. Okay, and where does his divine nature? Is he back to being a part of God? What do you mean back to being part of God? He never Wait, ceased being part of but, God. But he was human here, right? As to his divine nature, he's uh, always God. Okay. He never ceases to be God. So then when he got a when soul attached to him. A human nature, which includes yes. a human soul. Right. At his death, he doesn't. Cease. Okay, so that soul is now a part of the divine nature of no, Jesus. A part of. It's, it's, oh yeah, that, Allah. That soul, that soul remains united in His person. Yes. His soul. So but God is divine nature. So it's a part that's, of Him. That's your disjunct. Is a part of God or not? It is His. Uh, it's, he has you can't a divine answer. nature <laughs> and a human nature. Is that soul because His human body is dead? So His human soul is it a part of God or not? It is not a part of his divine nature. It's not a part of God or not? It's not part of his divine nature. So Jesus' soul is not a part of God? It's not part of his divine nature. It's a very simple question. It's a very simple answer. Is it a part of God or yes or no? It's a very simple answer. His soul is his human nature, not his divine nature. Jesus, that person, has two natures, divine and human. You keep wanting to conflate the two. So Christian theology has always said that's not true. And so you're when, just learning for when the first Jesus time, died, after doing Da'i for so long, it's not the for the first time, time you're just listen, now learning listen. that's not Christian theology. Anthony, Anthony. We got it on film. Anthony, you said it. Anthony. You said this it. is the first time, I, as I said, that the way you're explaining it, right? Because other Christians explain it differently, but let well, me, I'm let me, you, let me tell you. Okay, Christology. let me tell you this. The question you're not answering, that soul that got created, is that a part of God? Yes or no? 
Not in the sense you're asking. Okay, thank you. So right? the, the soul of Jesus is not a part of God. In the Got sense it. that you're asking, that thank you're you. assuming it's part of his divine nature. Okay, so you're you. saying Jesus' soul, his human body's dead, but his soul is not a part of God. Thank you. I got it. Absolutely. Okay. That's Even just, after he died. That's just classic Christianity. Even after he died. Welcome to Christianity okay. 101. So Jesus' soul is in heaven? Yes. So Jesus will be God and his soul will be in heaven. Why are you doing this? Because this God, well, I mean, you, you, you hope you will be in heaven, right? Yeah, and I'm not but you're not to be God. But, but your well, soul your is separate, right? If your soul's in heaven, then it's part of God. No, I didn't. Yeah, I never didn't. said that. That's I never said that. That's the assumption I did of your not argument. make that assumption. That this, is this assumption. Is, this is a flat that mistruth, I'll say it, right? But if that's that not your not assumption, not. My, your let me let me Let me explain it to you again. Okay, let me explain my assumptions, okay? Okay. Let me explain what I... You said Jesus did not have a soul before the Prior womb of the Mary. Let me speak now, right? Jesus comes to the womb of Mary. God creates a body for Jesus and a soul for Jesus. Now Jesus is a body, a soul, and a divine nature, according to you. Then he lives in life, and he lives with those three components. Now at the cross, according to you, his body dies, right? And his soul and his divine nature go back to being a part of God. So now... Notice the conjunction, soul and divine nature. That's go what ahead. I said. Okay. Yeah. Notice go back to being a part of God. No, no, no. I didn't say that. That's where you keep okay. making the false so, turn. So where does the soul go? You, but what, what, you're, you're confusing location with ontology. Okay. You seem to think that Christ's location means some fundamental so change in his ontology. Christ on That's earth. That's just a complete category. Christ on earth That's was God walking irrational. around, right? This whole time in this argument, you've been saying that you object to the incarnation because it's irrational, and now you're being as irrational as possible. I'm not. You keep making a false turn that rests on the false assumption that if Jesus goes to the Father, then something about his ontology changes. That's just utterly <laughs> fallacious. Okay, let me... That's just let me, utterly fallacious. When Even Jesus was walking, teeth, walking around on earth, you show your teeth, when Jesus was walking around, uh -huh. was he God himself? He was both God and man. Okay, so as God, he was walking on earth. Absolutely. In a human form. And, yeah, with a human body, absolutely. And a human soul. And a human soul. And that changed. What changed? When he died on the cross. His body died, went to the Excellent. dust. His soul remained his soul, but okay. never his divine nature. Okay. It's so, still not his part of his so divine So his nature. soul then... Never becomes part of his okay. divine nature. So his soul will never be part of God. It'll never be a part of his divine nature. Christ, Christ is okay. one person. Right. Right? I got you. He's, Thank you. He's I get a divine it. person. Okay. He has two natures. I understand your answer. Okay. Thank you. I don't agree with it. Well, okay. Well, I don't but expect that's, you to agree yeah, that's at this my, point. Okay. But I'm sure. saying you understand what it is now. Though. David, do you have the same? You understand. Do you agree that, that the soul of Christ is not a part of God? It's not a part of his divine nature. You believe that? David Wood. That's, that's basic Wood. Christianity. I mean. Oh, I mean, I mean, many Christians here, preachers and pastors, have said the soul of Christ is a part of God, right? Well, but you're saying it's not. Okay, but understand. See, I don't you, know you're saying the soul of Christ was created, and when Christ died, his soul does not become God. Absolutely not. Okay, that's his soul is in heaven. So. so so let me just say this then. I, I can't speak for other Christians, okay. right, in this sense, the people you've talked to, right? I'm not going to say you're misrepresenting them. There are you can talk to them. Right? No, no, no. But I'm saying they might be uh, speaking less than precisely. Okay. Or you might be misunderstanding them. Okay. I can tell you this, you know, even with all the laugh tracks going on, I can tell you this. Historic, classic Christianity, in terms of its official formal creeds and confessions, teaches exactly what I just told you. Okay. Right? The Chalcedonian Creed, which is historic Christianity in its affirmation of the natures of Christ has always affirmed that Christ had a fully human nature. Okay. And those two natures forever are distinct. His human nature could never be Interesting. His divine nature. So, never. so the soul of Christ will, is not a part of God. It's not a part of his divine essence, his okay. nature, right? And, and let me, this goes back to a fundamental distinction of Christianity that I think we agree on. And you would hold it as a Muslim, not as, you know, I'm not saying you hold this, you know. The, the creator-creature distinction. Mm -hmm. an absolute distinction yes. between the two. Yes. And so as, and as Christians, sorry. As Christians, we affirm that distinction, and we don't believe the incarnation ever blurs that distinction. But we believe Jesus was a creation. Wa alaykum salam wa Well, you believe he was... He only was a human being. Right? He was a creation. Yeah. But you believe, believe he was a creation and the creator. We believe that he was the that's creator. Not, 
who took upon himself a human nature. So again, that means you mixed never, the two. <laughs> which no, which never become mixed. Again, <laughs> if you read the if you read the Chalcedonian Creed, it says without admixture, without okay. intermixing. So so classic Christianity gotcha. has always said those two natures remain distinct. They're okay. both natures of the divine word. They belong to the word, but they never become the other. His divine nature forever remains divine. His human nature forever remains human. But his human nature started at the womb of Mary. Yes, because it's human. Right? And his body died, and his, body and his died. soul will live, but never be a part of God. It'll always be united in his one person. It'll never be his divine nature. In the one person with the Father? Yeah. So soul then is now united with the Father. The Son who is always one with the Father. Okay. There's no change to the divine nature. He's there is, here. because you just added a soul to it. No. It's, it's, it's united with it, right? You, you don't even see Is the soul united with Jesus forever it's, or not? It's hypostatically. It's not ontologically. Wow. They don't become fused. In, I mean, I think you're thinking in terms of... That's what it sounds there's like, some right? some tangible substance called deity. No, no, no. There's no, 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 this no. other tangible stuff right. and they get glued or something. Let me, let me just explain. Okay, I'm so saying. this is... The, when your idea of God, mm -hmm. right, there are three components, right? What do you mean by what, what components are you referring to here? Father, the Son, okay. and the Holy Ghost. I wasn't sure if you were still talking about Christ, divine nature, human nature. Well, that is Christ. It's one of the three, right? Yeah, up here, yeah. Yeah, I up here. Okay, I got you. What components you're talking about uh, here? I get you. I, I, I know what you. I, I like to be clear. So, what I'm talking about is God, in your understanding, has three distinct components that come together as one the father the s no no okay that, that, that would be like us saying you believe that allah has these components his face and his shin and so on that come together yeah, as allah it, it wouldn't because let, it, it wouldn't let me yeah. explain why no, not no, 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 because allah's yad for example doesn't detach and come walk around on earth but we don't think right Christ detached okay but, but, but you do say that god took on human form yeah, human nature. Okay, so we also when, believe that God is everywhere, so there's no de there's no detachment. It's not like okay. it, when I say he took on, that's metaphorical. I don't mean if God is everywhere, is then what's the difference between you and Jesus? You're both God then. No, God is everywhere, so God's in you, right? But see, why why do basic terms break down like that with people? You because move from you don't God make is sense. everywhere to saying God is everything. Those are two okay. different terms. So, so, so that's the thing. Jesus was God. You're saying not present at Jesus. So that's why you're yeah. trying to confuse the issue no, no. because there's a distinction. Yeah. You're saying uh, I'm making the distinction. Okay. You're not. I am. Let no, me explain it. So <laughs> when you say God is everywhere, yeah, you don't mean He's everywhere in the sense that Jesus was here. Oh, right. In the, in the sense that Jesus has incarnate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Incarnate so there is that. That's your. That's, that's your breakdown. In, okay. So let's take. Let's take it back to that. So when Jesus was walking around, it is different from God just being everywhere, according to you. There, there, because there's a hypostatic. You know what the term Thank hypostatic Thank you. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. When you add, there's a ahead. hypostatic union. Hypostatic pertains to Excellent. the person. So that means the person of the Son is not a yes. physical, tangible thing. He can be present without taking up any space. Right? We're not but, saying he but occupies he, space. But, but right now, mm -hmm. this here, us walking around, according to you, God is everywhere Upholding in a sense. Everything. Excellent, got you. But when Jesus is walking around, now this is different than just saying God is everywhere because you're yeah, saying, yeah, absolutely. thank you. Okay, yeah. so when Jesus came to earth, yeah. not that he was already everywhere, like, like that, you know, you can't no, just go is, on a loop. He is always everywhere. <laughs> but there's a difference, right, yeah. of Jesus coming yeah. physically, yeah. right? Yeah, he's incarnate in the womb. Though. Yes or no? Like that flesh doesn't come from heaven. Thank you. Okay. But that connection yeah. is from the, heaven. Starts in the womb. Excellent. So now, when Jesus, according to you, was walking around, mm -hmm. he was God walking around, right? God. In the human form. And man. He is both God and man. Got walking it. Around. Yes. Got it. That so that, person, is, that is different. That person. Excellent. So that is different than right now when you could say God is everywhere, but he's not walking around as a person, right? Yeah, but the fact that he's mm -hmm. everywhere makes that sort of thing possible. Okay. Right. But again, like you said, it is not the same as him just being everywhere regularly, right? Of course not. Okay, thank you. So, when God... Destroy the uniqueness of the incarnation. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. When I was saying that, you were like, well, he's everywhere anyway. No. Like, well, then that doesn't make sense. So, no. let's go back to that. He's in the womb, and now a soul is created that was not there before. Right? Yeah, well, I'm still trying to okay. figure out why we're back here again. Because you, you, you went in a loop, that's why. No, you Many, went on a loop. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, that soul gets connected now to God, the Jesus. 
right? Jesus is now, a divine person for the divine nature. Now has a soul connected to him. Now this human nature mm -hmm. is brought into union with his divine Thank you. through his one person. Thank you. It becomes the nature of that person. Now the body will die, yep. but now that soul will remain fused. But right? That That's what you're saying? Fused, though, but <laughs> well, I'm saying it's still uh, his nature. Okay. It's still his, that okay. soul is his soul. Okay. But, but it's not a part of God. It, it's not a part of his divine nature. Gotcha. But something state. new got connected to God, right? But what do you mean by connected? You're acting like oh, these are Legos. What do you mean? No, no, no. You're telling me they're like Legos, right? No, God came in not. and you plugged the human body and you plugged I'm the soul and then the human and body falls off and the soul connects, that's right? Why, that's that's what you're saying. All right, well, it's nice talking to you, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> David, you want, I wish we... Now you want Sam? I want yeah. Sam. Any, yeah. Sam look, let, let, me, let me explain this, right? I don't mean like... No, no, I, I don't want Sam, but yeah, it's like, listen <laughs> to me, know, listen to like... me. You guys are welcome anytime. Oh. We're not here to debate. We're here to give dawah. If somebody you wants... Like Christian Prince to debate? You sure. You're willing let, to me, I, yeah. let me, let me right. finish. Let me finish and you'll get the answer. You're, you're doing the Anthony thing now, right? David, you were doing so good so far, right? Yes, so, David. Wait a minute. You were. You were. I thought you were inviting now. people to debate. So if let you're me, saying you weren't doing let that, me, then I was Let just me explain it. And, and I've said it many times, right? On, which, which, yeah, thank you, David. Yeah, oh, gotta, Anthony, gotta, man, you, you, you get the first dub this time. <laughs> right. I, I still leave you hanging. All right. So, <laughs> we are du'at. We are giving dawah. Yeah. Right. If somebody wants to debate, they're more than welcome to come. Do you understand the difference yeah. now? Okay. So, Christian princess, a prince, whatever. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you got that in for the camera. <laughs> I, I got. I, I've said that many a time. I know. I know. I have to say, Mr. Prince. If you're afraid to show your face, I can get you a little niqab. What do you think about that idea? He could, he could put like a little scarf on, and that way he won't show his face and he can come in person like you guys. So for the record, I have no idea why he doesn't want to uh, be seen. Princess, uh, he Prince, does, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't know why you don't want to no, show your face. No, no, no. Christian you guys, Prince. You guys heard that? Christian, Christian Prince. Prince. Anthony saying, why aren't you showing Christian your face? Prince is, Anthony is saying, I don't know Christian Prince. So I don't know him either. I have no idea why he doesn't want to be. Me neither. No. But that doesn't mean he's afraid. Well, I mean, there's some reason, right? And we, neither one of us know. So, so I'm so offering. So since neither could one be of his us job. Know, you have a job, I'm sure. Since right? neither one of us What do you know, do? Just like you said earlier, you're not going to assert something. Your YouTuber, that's your job? That's my main job. Wait, that's your main job? You do this for money? Wow. What about you? What do you do? Uh, I do a number of things. I am a pastor. I told you that at the start. Cool. I uh, serve in prisons. That's oh, nice. I'm the regional I used to do the same thing. Yeah, in nice. South Carolina for prisons. Wow. I was converted uh, at 18 in prison. Oh, wow. So I've always had a love for prisoners, want to go in prisons. And I also, Careful how you say that, but all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I also have a night job where I cool. do a lot of online. So, Christian, uh, not, not, Christian Prince, we are together making an offer that if you would like to have a conversation like this and you don't want to show your face, I'm offering to bring you a niqab so you can cover your face and we had a respectful, con nobody got hurt, nobody got beat up, nobody got fired, right? So we're making that offer to you. Nobody got fired. I mean, I, I work a regular job. Not I might yet. get fired. Not, right? yet. not yet. Maybe I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it for God. No problem. I'm not afraid. With, the, with that said, assuming he has some, you know, reason like, you know, maybe his job doesn't want him out there showing himself or something like that. Uh, why wouldn't it be acceptable then to debate him online or something like that? Excellent. So the thing that happens online that we see is that somebody has a mute button. Right, and what happens is, as we've, and, and again, I don't watch his channel, but what brothers have sent me clips and things, he just mutes them and talks over them, and that doesn't really benefit. Like you see how we had a respectful conversation, we tried to keep it in person. That and look, he doesn't have to fly here. If he wants to fly me come somewhere, he can give me his address, no problem. I'll fly there. I'm not afraid of you coming here. He shouldn't be, be afraid of coming here either, right? So, let me, let so me say this what I'm saying is. I prefer this kind of a conversation where we can have a conversation, not just mute each other and, and, and yell over each other and somebody controls a button and somebody throws references without being here, right? So this but is I, why. I like that. Let me okay, say this. Good. Let I'm glad you this. like it. I think there are channels on both sides that do some of that. Sure. People I, I don't I don't I don't, something. I don't do the, I don't I do Skype are, I don't do Zoom I, I don't do those things. There are right? channels where both sides have been respectable in sure. the course of things. Christian Prince has not. Well, I, and I you know that. I, no, I don't Come know anything. Okay, no, 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 watch no, the listen, show and then no, you figure it out. Yeah. Listen to me. I, I haven't watched. Uh, I'm not. Like you don't a, watch the show? I'm not like a big. I don't watch all sorts of things. Have you watched the show or not? No. I mean, I've seen. Oh. I, like you, I could probably. I can honestly say before God, I've probably seen about as much as you have. 
right? And you haven't seen much. Uh, and I haven't You're not a big much. fan of Christian Prince, I guess. Then. I'm not saying anything either, either way. I just I mean, you haven't. I, you know, gotcha. Not, uh, I don't know who the you know ruler is of Zamunda. Right? Then you wouldn't be a big yeah. fan of the ruler of Zamunda, I, right? I, I know. <laughs> King Jaffe 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 Jaffar. Jaffar. <laughs> I'm just saying right. I don't. I don't know. So what I, I will say, I appreciate much. the civil conversation. Right? And again, we are du'at, we are giving da'wah towards the oneness of Allah. We believe Allah is one, He doesn't become two, He doesn't become three. His sifat, His self. Let me, let me finish, bro. Come on, Anthony, we're doing so good. David, where are you at? Good. This is uh, our closing. All right, our closing. So let me oh, yeah, close. Okay. okay, you're close. Let, uh, I'll let you go first. You're the guest. Go ahead. Yeah. Why don't you guys like take two two minutes each or something like Excellent. that? Excellent. Go ahead. To close out. Does that work? Oh sure, sure, sure. You want me? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm don't worry, buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Andy. I'll let you speak. I'll say this. I think we've gotten our major points out there. Excellent. Yeah. We've gotten some perspective. I think we've had a pleasurable dialogue. I've enjoyed you. I've expressed some of the things that I like. I love the fact that Muslims are willing to engage. I hope that never changes, unless, of course, they become Christian. That's the ultimate goal from our perspective, just like yours is for us to become Muslim. I think that if we honestly go back and look through this, there's been uh, a good bit of breakdown in terms of, uh, well, but, but also clarification, but I think there's been a breakdown in some of the understanding. Hopefully some clarification along the way on both sides. Good. And uh, I, I do think that we've, for the most part, established that we, from our perspectives, have an aversion to the other perspective, but there hasn't so much been an argument presenting that case against or for or what have you. So, uh, I, you know, I'm not trying to make any new arguments here. I'm just gotcha. summing up from my perspective. I think this was pleasurable. Productive. I think it was productive. Uh, as, a, as a human being, I've enjoyed you, you know, obviously we're on different cool. sides of the, uh, you know, <laughs> God. At least we both, both believe in God. Yeah, that's true. And, and neither one of us are minimizing the serious nature of our differences, right? Nope. When I say I appreciate all these things, I'm not saying, okay, you're okay. You're not saying I'm okay, right? <laughs> I think you're okay. But in the sense of, <laughs> ultimately, both of us think the others are seriously off and have uh, a reckoning to, to, to give. People are going so well. Yeah, it's getting good, David. True. I'll on. say it too, don't worry. You know Go ahead, true. David. Oh, sort of final thoughts here? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I'll just give you my basic view. Um, Muslims generally go right to Christian theology, and this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, this doesn't make sense. Uh, whereas Islam is this, you know, easy to understand oneness and so on. Uh, my view is that when you really get into Islamic theology, you're talking about the attributes of Allah and uh, the Quran and the nature of the Quran and the eternality of the Quran and the spirit of Allah and all these things. It seems more confusing than than people are generally letting on. And my, my general view is just because something is confusing doesn't mean you, do, you dismiss it. Just because, you know, if you study quantum mechanics, no one no one gets it. They just sure. understand that's, that's, how, that's how things work. So for me, it comes down to something we didn't actually get to here. What, what's true? What has God revealed? And what has he shown that he has revealed to us? And because if, 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 God, if God said to me that Islam is true, and I would say, okay, I don't get all this stuff, but he's God and, and I'm not. Okay. Um, but similarly, if God reveals that Christianity is true, mm -hmm. then just to me it just wouldn't matter if there were some aspect of Christian theology and I said, you know, I, re I really don't get that or it doesn't make sense or something like that. Gotcha. So, but uh, uh, I do think it's cool when we can have conversations like this. Um, and you know, Anthony, Sam, we're all we're all similar, and that we're we're willing to escalate under you know under certain circumstances and so on. Gotcha. Um, but I think it's better if we have nice, nice, nice Good. Like this. Good. That's, that's my view. So Sam, it's getting late. So no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I got I gotta finish my my thing. Sorry. Wait. No. You're just gonna hey. give a quick, quick final thought. Two minutes. Yeah. All right. So you think of a topic. I don't know. All right. So first thing I would say uh, I want to appreciate you guys coming out. I want to appreciate your behavior and I want to say that in the world that we live in with atheism on the rise and all those kinds of things I think Muslims, Christian, Jews have a lot in common right we do believe in God at least we do believe there's a creator right and that's something to focus on I, I'm not I don't think this is really like a butting head war type of a situation that some people want to make it 
right? I don't think we should be insulting. I think we should be having a good conversation as we've had. I believe that there is one creator. That one creator is indivisible. He doesn't become two, he doesn't become three, he doesn't become four. He has one zat. That of Allah is one. Sifat don't make it different. It is part of the same thought of Allah. I believe that one creator, he sent Moses and Abraham and Muhammad and Jesus and all of these prophets as prophets. All of them had different miracles. Some were born without a father or mother. Some were born from the ribs. Some were born without a father. Some all kinds of, some split the ocean, some split the moon. These are miracles sent to these prophets. And they all brought the same message. The message didn't switch up that, okay, right now you need to do good deeds and then later on just believe and somebody else would die for your sins. To me, that's not from the nature of God to be unjust to a bunch of people by making them accountable for their deeds and then unjust to another people by then just believing in something and no matter deeds, they go to heaven. To me, that's not my belief. My belief is that there is one Allah, one creator. He revealed the Quran. He is the one that sent the prophets and those prophets preach the same message. Believe in one creator. Don't worship idols, no statues, no symbols of statues, all those kinds of things and follow the prophet of your time. I believe this is the time of the prophethood of the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I invite all of you to believe in the prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and follow that guidance and this is what I believe leads to heaven. Again, appreciate the time, appreciate the conversation and you can bring Sam if you like. Sam, we gotta break our fast, come on. Let me stop this real quick just to start up again. So the fire's not too long. Sam! <laughs> Sir! Come on! Four, four minutes. Take a seat of No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Oh. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> Not an option. So, I mean, 10 minutes, lock it up. Sam, I was waiting for these guys. To All right, how you doing? You, you mind? It? Should I call you Hassan? Oh, give me, give me a hug. People think I get offended when they call me Hassan. What, what do you want me to call you? I don't want to call you anything. Whatever, what do you like? Sam, pick, pick. Uh, pick what? I don't know what. Pick a name like. that you like. Hassan. Hassan. How are you, Hassan? Where are you from? I like this one, Jaman Baru. You like it? Good. Ashuri. Chaldean. Okay, you're Chaldean. Ah. Ashuri Chaldean. Ashuri Don't Chaldean. speak Arabic. Okay. But I'm from speak Chaldean. Born in Kuwait. Yes. I nice. Speak Born in Kuwait. You got a big community in San Diego. Yes, you do. My cousins are there too. Nice. So don't tell them you might be Mexican. <laughs> 1974 came to Chicago, so I didn't learn Arabic. I learned Assyrian. Gotcha. I just want to be clear because some people think I speak Arabic. I if speak not, Arabic. Yeah, I know you learn. But I keep telling them I don't speak the <laughs> I believe you. You don't speak Arabic. I don't speak Arabic. All right. But yeah, I don't know what you guys were talking about. That's we had a big conversation. I mean, we, got, we, got, we got like a few minutes before we have to go break okay, our fast. God willing, yes. I've come back, we'll have Any time. Yes. I'll tell you what. I'm in Arizona, Sam. but I come up here Assume. like once a month. I'll tell you what. Yes. I'm inviting you in front of everybody here to break fast with me. Come to my house, eat food with me, drink tea. We can, I have a library, we can sit down. So, what time do you, what time? I, we, we go to Arizona, I'm in Arizona. What time are you leaving? There's no specific time we need to leave, so if you want us to come over, we'll come over. How late would it be? Um, probably on seven o'clock, we'll start dinner. Whatever you want Then we'll, He's we'll my be. right, Sounds but good. I come up right. once a month, I promise you, now that we understand each other, I will come up with we'll Okay, let me give you my number. Yes, and here, take And if mine. you want then, today, if you guys are heading out, yeah, because it's gonna get, if we sit, we're gonna sit at least till, 10 p.m. midnight, so you guys better be ready. Yeah, All right. Two, two, no, 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 let's turn the cameras off. And uh, I don't, I don't oh, want yeah. people, I don't want people, me or you getting, getting messages. Here, there you go, just type it in. Right. You're lucky to all right. Yes, and so he's my right, but I will okay. be coming more often. I'll see you guys. Got All right, cool. Because I come up here once a month. I see people. Once in San a month, Diego, man. You've been coming this often. Never came and said hello, man. I met you the wrong way. Oh, I gotta meet you the right way. That's why I come here. Give me a hug. All right. We'll talk more. I hope we will. We will. Now you guys do have time for a quick conversation. So what's a good talk? He said a few minutes. He wants to break. Yeah, I have to leave. So I mean, we leave at five. So.